I know we've all wanted to play our favorite PC games on a huge 60 to 65 inch screen. And that option does now exist. And it's only $5,000. But if we compromise just a bit, we can get a 4K 65 inch PC monitor and have it only be around 500 bucks. Hey there, tech boys and girls. Today, we're trying out the 65 inch TCL 4 Series 4K television. The main draw on this TV is not only it's 65 inches, but the fact that it has very, very low latency, and that's gonna be 12 milliseconds. What that's gonna mean is whenever you're moving around on your desktop, doing things, moving your mouse, you're, not, you're gonna avoid that jelly feeling, you know, that thing where it's just, it's so heavy and it's, it's not moving correctly. And that's usually the mark of whether a monitor is usable for gaming or not. Obviously, we're not gonna get that competitive shooter uh, millisecond response time or anything, you know, no competitive gaming here, but at 65 inches, we're looking, you know, casual gaming, you know, light FPS. If you're not looking to raise on the leaderboards, then you're gonna be just fine, which so for almost every gamer, other than the specific ones, this is gonna be perfect. So I picked this up from Best Buy for $500. I have the 43 inch uh, TCL, same exact version, 4K, all that jazz, very low latency. And I wanted to move up and, you know, move the, the gaming in the living room up a notch. My main concern was that moving up to a higher display size was gonna also, you know, raise the latency and, you know, make it a worse experience compared to the 43 inch. And actually, it feels even better. It seems like it wouldn't, or for whatever reason it shouldn't, but I can actually tell less of a delay when I'm gaming or doing anything on the larger monitor. All I needed to get started was an HDMI to run the TV to the computer, go into the TV, set it up for computer mode, and set the HDMI to 2.0, and voila! We've got a 4K monitor hooked right up to the PC, ready to roll. So we got our settings perfect, the image looks great, and we've got our games ready to roll. So let's sit back, see how she games. The PC I decided to use with this TV is my current daily driver. It's nothing fancy, just a 1700X, 1080 Ti, custom water loop, and 32 gigabytes of DDR4. This is just temporary until that Ryzen 3000 drops soon. This setup allowed me to hit max 1440p, which is what I was using for the testing, and it was able to give pretty good 4K in most titles. So other than just sitting down and seeing how good it felt playing on the TCL, I set up two cameras and shot at 120 FPS, then slowed them both down real good so that you could see how long it takes for the gun to shoot from me pressing the button. This is actually better than I thought it would be. For comparison, my Predator G-Sync monitor is around 12 and I've never noticed or had any problems with it while gaming or working. To sum it all up, I'm wildly impressed with this TV's performance. It's an excellent smart TV for the living room. It looks amazing. The image quality is great. Plays games as well as any monitor that doesn't have, you know, specifically the gaming focus specs. And most of all, it's affordable. So that's what I think. And I love finding deals like these, you know, working around getting that $5,000 frickin' giant, you know, TV monitor, whatever crap that they have, uh, and being able to be resourceful as a consumer, PC, gaming, all that stuff. And I think everyone kind of joins in and has that same kind of gratification when we all help each other find good things, you know? But um, let me know if you have this TV and if you like it. Whether you agree with me that this is acceptable or we you have to have those high, you know, hertz refresh rates and all that jazz, I don't know. I really dig it. Girlfriend likes playing on it and, you know, watching whatever in here. So I think it's dope. Uh, thanks for watching. Join me in the comments to laugh at anything you hate and that it's hot so I'm sweating and I can't have fans on. Also, setting this damn thing up, the lights, the camera, all that, I'm six foot four, so <laughs> trying to do a stand up here is horrible and I hate it. And I'm gonna have to sit down, but I have the TV so high, I gotta stand. But, uh, you know, love you.